Welcome to Ontario Tech Kaltura Virtual Classroom. We're really excited to have you join us this fall online, and we're here to walk you through a set of slides that help you navigate for that very first class. I'll also provide some key tips for interconnectivity as well. So let's get started. When you arrive in your Kaltura Virtual Classroom, the very first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is test to make sure that your video and audio is set up correctly. So to do that, you simply click on the settings button located up at the top navigation board. This will open up a page where you can select your correct webcam and microphone. Once you've selected your microphone, a green bar will appear to indicate that others can hear you. Once you're finished that, simply click close and you're good to go. The next step is to turn on your microphone. So to do that, you're gonna click on your microphone. This will enable it so that others can hear you. In terms of an online classroom, the best practice is to keep your mic muted when you are not speaking. To do that, you will simply keep click on the microphone icon again, and a red diagonal will, will appear. Again, this will just help that the crystal clear quality will be available in your class. The next thing that you have access to is something called the on-demand course. To access your on-demand course, where is where a place where your instructor can upload and share files for the live session, you simply click on the three dots, locate on demand and click on it. This will open up a separate page for you where you'll be able to see the files that are available for you that your instructor has provided. Okay, so in terms of communication, you will have access to the chat. You are welcome to type in the chat as much as possible. However, if you have questions about the core content of your class and you'd like to be addressed by instructor, please use the Q&A button. This will filter out the questions and make it easier for your instructor to address your specific question. Of course, you're always welcome to use your microphone. Just remember to keep it muted when you're not speaking. And finally, you have the capability to raise your hand if you choose to. This will bring you to the top of the participants list and your instructor will be able to address your question. All right, so let's cover interconnectivity tips. It's very important that you have a reliable Wi-Fi as much as possible. What I suggest is that you move as close as possible to your Wi-Fi device. This will just help to improve interconnectivity within your household. In addition to that, for your classes, you may want to try avoid sharing your router or your hotspot during your session with others in the household. This will all help to improve the quality of the online experience. Also, I recommend that you close all the browsers applications that you do not need open. It will just keep it from drawing on the bandwidth. And finally, what you can do is make sure your computer is plugged in. The reason why is the camera and the audio run off the CPU. And so if your CPU processing starts to slow down because it's not plugged in, this will draw on it. So simply making sure that your computer is plugged in will improve connectivity. Okay, so now that you know these tips, let's walk through how do I get to my class? What you're gonna do is log into Canvas, locate your class. You're gonna come down to Media Gallery, click on Media Gallery, and where you see here, it says Start Meeting. For you, it will say Join Meeting. Once you hit join meeting, you will now launch into the Kaltura virtual classroom that you see here today. So thank you very much and good luck with your classes.